Um, our next speaker is Amy Bachmann. Amy is Director for Procurement and Sustainability at DC Central Kitchen here in Washington, DC. Amy? Hi, everybody. Uh, as you said, my name is Amy Bachman. I'm the Director of Procurement with DC Central Kitchen. Uh, so we're the local one in the room. Uh, DC Central Kitchen has been around for just hit 30 years this year. And so our mission is to fight hunger differently. Um, we were founded with the premise that waste is wrong, whether it be food or whether it be people. And so what we seek to do and what really our, our initial you know, work was taking food that otherwise would get thrown away, you know, from grocery stores and wholesalers and farms and restaurants and bringing that all to a central space. where We then use that food as a tool to train men and women who were coming out of homelessness or prison to help them get jobs. Going back to that sort of, you know, food is never going to solve hunger idea. We wanted to look at ways that we could flip the switch and utilize food as a way um, to train people and realize that, you know, educating people and, and helping them to get jobs is, is the best way to do that. So fast forward, you know, 30 years, um, our, our work has, has greatly expanded. Um, we do, you know, recover food every day and we bring it to that central space. And our training program has trained hundreds of men and women um, in our culinary program. But we've, we've also really delved into how can we then create more jobs for our graduates. And that's really d developed our social enterprise. So in addition to recovering food and providing meals to shelters, we are also a large social enterprise that consists of our contract with DC public schools. So we do 8,000 school meals every day, purchase food, but meals that are going into, into elementary schools and middle schools across the city. Um, additionally, we run a catering company to work to provide more opportunities for our graduates to find work, as well as a program called Healthy Corners that seeks to bring healthy, nutritious food into corner stores in mostly Ward 7 and 8, which are the most um, food desert and sort of impoverished areas of the city. Um, but going back to our food recycling program and kind of the heart of what we're talking about today, and most of what my work gets to be, um, we, we partner with all different um, types of companies around the city. We work mostly now with wholesalers, you know, places like Cisco Baltimore, Coastal Sunbelt, uh, to recover produce and meat and, and, and dairy products that they otherwise wouldn't be selling. You know, products that might be nearing their expiration, but or just might, you know, not have a buyer for it. So many different reasons where, where product can kind of fall through the cracks. And so we're able to recover that food and bring it back to our kitchen. We also work with grocery stores. Uh, we work with farmers markets, restaurants. Um, we do a program in the summertime called gleaning, which is, a, is an old word, which sort of means recovering food from the farm. So speaking to that farm loss that we all know is such a big part of this, this issue, uh, we seek to work, we bring volunteers uh, to farms to physically harvest the food that otherwise, you know, farmers themselves wouldn't pick. Uh, sometimes it's for cosmetic reasons. Other, other times, you know, it's a pick your own farm and people tend to knock off apples when they go to pick that perfect one and five fall on the ground. And so we come by the next day and get all those fallen apples and make applesauce or, you know, send them out as a, as a healthy snack. Uh, about half of the, pro of the product that we bring into the kitchen is produce. That's definitely a huge, huge part of what we do. Um, and we do, you know, a, as much raw unprepared product as we can since we are cooking with the meals. Um, and what we've realized in recent years is, in the beginning of, with, of DC Central Kitchen's work, we worked a lot with restaurants. We worked a lot with prepared, catered food, and we've realized in recent years, since we are cooking from scratch, that food's really challenging to deal with. And we, we started monitoring our own internal waste and figuring out what are we not able to use. And so we've actually started partnering with other organizations in the city, one of them being Food Rescue US. Um, which is a really cool organization that utilizes volunteers to actually pick up mostly prepared food and bring it directly to agencies that serve in-house. And that's allowed us to actually reduce our own internal food waste and make sure that a really important part of the food waste puzzle is getting, getting to where it needs to be and realizing kind of what, what piece we have to play. In addition, um, due to our large social enterprise, you know, we are, we are a major food business. We buy a lot of food and we produce a lot of meals. And so internally, we're looking really closely at what we do. You know, how can we understand what we might be wasting at the schools? What can we do better to make sure our kids are eating all the food that we provide to them? And so that's been a big piece of our work. Um, finally, I just do want to note our national program. Uh, it's called the Campus Kitchens Project. That's sort of our road, you know, program on the road where we um, train college students to recover food from their, their cap campus cafeterias to then produce meals um, throughout their community. Um, it's actually how I got my start. I was a student at Wake Forest University and uh, started recovering food there and then 
really just haven't looked back. Um, but it's a great way for us to really bring this model to, to the rest of the country and, and really get our youth involved in that work. So thank you all.